What's going on, YouTube? So right before we get started with the evaluation, don't forget to click like and subscribe on this video and don't forget to check out the merch store. And so with all that in mind, let's begin. So the Nikon D750 versus the Nikon Z6 II full frame, 24 megapixel. This is a huge generation gap we're comparing right here, guys. This is 2014 versus 2020, CMOS versus BSI. We have the XP4 and the XP6. This is a huge generation gap that we're comparing right now, two generations, by the way. And uh, we'll definitely take a look at this in the image quality later on in the video, obviously. And for the price, if you take a look at the BH photo website, this is clear to me. There's a D750 Colt. There's a huge following for the D750. So I totally understand it's on back order on BH photo is $1,700. Whereas it's Nikon Z62, it's it's a year right now and it's still $2,000. So keep that in mind. Now, if you take a look at the weight, the Nikon D750 weighs about 840 grams, whereas the Nikon Z62 weighs about 705 grams. And if you take a look back at the camera, they both have flip screen, but the Nikon D750 do not have touchscreen, whereas the Nikon Z62 do have the touchscreen. And if you take a look at the SD card slots, the D750 have two SD card slots, whereas the Nikon Z62 has the CF Express and the SD card slot, which means that the Nikon Z62 has a better buffer than the Nikon D750. And speaking of buffering, here's the frames per second and the buffer. Now let's take a look at the audio levels. Now, as you can see, the Nikon D750, the shutter clap is a lot louder than the Nikon Z62. So keep that in mind. And also in this test, we'll do the 50 mm 1.8G on both camera system as usual. And we'll definitely do our testing right about now. All right, so right before we get started, just want to remind everyone that uh, I have everything turned off, D lighting, I tested with all the metering from matrix to spot and uh, yeah. We are outdoors in the late afternoon and yeah, let's, let's get along with it. Very simple. So on the left is the Z62 and on the right is the D750. And I would say it's more or less the same, except that the D750 is slightly, I guess it depends on how you look at it, right? It's just slightly a hair darker than the Z62. Pretty much. And the BSI on a Z62 is just a tad brighter. All right, so here's the next scene. As you can clearly tell, the D750 is a hair darker than the Nikon Z62. And if you zoom in, the color is more or less the same. It just seems to be just a tad darker on the D750. And here's the next scene. This story remains the same. I, I'll be quite honest. There is no real big difference in terms of these two cameras, except one is a hair brighter and one is a hair just a tad darker. Um, let's see the grass right quick. Yeah, you can tell by the grass and the road, just a tad darker. That's all. Nothing too crazy, right? But in terms of color, it's, it's more or less the same, in my opinion. So here's the next scene. Let's take a closer look. And yeah, six years, right? Um, for those D750 owners, all you have to do is yank up your exposure by 0.4 and you're just about the same level as Z62, pretty much. So there you go. Yeah, not a, not a big difference at all. Just yank up your exposure just a tad and it's about even. And here's the next scene. Already you could tell that it's just a hair, just a tad darker on the D750. And I'll be quite honest, either either image will work just fine, you know. I don't see any huge jump. So I think all D750 owners should be really happy with this. All right, so here's my ISO testing. We're indoors at night, taking the shot with the artificial lighting. And I'll have to say, I like the Z62 under artificial lighting than the D750. D750 seems to have some sort of like 
purplish cast going on, but uh, I think it's fixable. But just wanted you to know that the Z62 is more accurate in these conditions right here. So let's take a look at the ISO testing. And here's ISO 100. Here's ISO 400. Not a big difference at all. Here's ISO 800. And uh, yeah, not a big deal. Same old, same old. Here's ISO 1600. And uh, I don't see any, you know, big jumps. Looks more or less the same. And here's ISO 3200. There you have it, 3200. Oh, okay. No, they're getting noisy together, so that's fine. Um, but yeah. And here is ISO 6400. And uh, it's more or less the same. Yeah, there's no crazy difference, to be quite honest. Here is 12,800. And there you go. All right, let's take a look at this scene for the dynamic range. I'm going to pump it up one moment. I mean, pump it all up. Boom. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hit C and we will see side. Whoa, okay. There you go. The side by side comparison. Look at that. Purple and not purple. Let me zoom in. And yep, 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 yep. There you go. Six years in the making right there. BSI. You get better colors when raising up your shadows with the z62 way better colors that purple looks hideous holy crap there you go right over there all right for the next scene let me pull out the exposure hit the letter c let's take a look and already you can tell that you get purple on the D750, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Woo, look at that purple. Look at that. That is rough right there. Even the sky is a little shift of purple right there. Yeah. And for the last and final scene, let me pull out the exposure under artificial lighting. Let me hit C. And then, yeah, look at that purple. There we go. That is no bueno. No good. So definitely the Nikon Z62 do have an advantage. If you're pushing pulling, I'll definitely tell you guys to get the Nikon Z62 over the D750. But yeah, this is good for those astro shooters out there. That's for sure. So just to wrap things up, the Nikon D750 versus the Nikon Z62. Both cameras have their pros and cons, obviously, but uh, definitely the mirrorless versus DSLR conversation is back here again, obviously. So with the Z62, you get the eye tracking, right? You get the Z lenses, you get the 4K reader recording. Also, you get the compact size, right? Whereas the D750, you get the OVF, right? You get the battery life, you get the grip. You also, you get the durability, right? So that is something for people to definitely take note of. Now, in terms of image quality, I think that both cameras can get you similar images at the end of the day if you know how to edit your photos. However, if you're pushing and pulling really deep, you need that dynamic range. The BSI is going to give it to you, Z62, right? Now, in terms of wildlife photography, definitely the Nikon D750 will give you that OVF, but the six and a half frames per second is kind of low in my opinion. I would definitely push you guys towards the Nikon Z62. You will be spraying, praying by the way. You will get that lag by the way, but you get 14 frames per second and also you get that dynamic range performance. So I think that at the end of the day, it depends on the end users, what they're looking for. But with all that said, thank you guys for checking me back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe and yep, I guess I'll see you guys next one. All right, take it easy. Peace.